Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rune here back with another Power World video and today I'll be going over how to set up an endgame breeding farm. Breeding is very important for endgame to get those perfect pals. They aren't exactly needed but getting the most damage out of pals is very fun and you can just do it for work speed or movement speed. Whatever you're looking for a pal, breeding can get it to you basically the most effective way. Now my base location is up on this mountain. It is 314, negative 26. It is near the sealed realm of the Swift where Verdash is and close to Jormantide. Um, it's on this mountain that makes it pretty unraidable. Um, the only place is like right here. Um, so I put a gate so pals can go out and go after them. But most of the raids usually spawn over on this side or come over here to where you don't have too many worries of these different um, enemies attacking if you want to somewhat AFK this. Now, of course, as all bases need, we need some beds and hot springs. So on this above ground area, I have a bunch of beds and two hot springs here to keep our sanity up. And so that pals won't go crazy. And then in this area over here, we have everything about making cakes. We have here two ranches where we will have uh, chickpeas and mozzarinas and bee guards for milk, eggs, and honey. And then we have pals gathering it and putting it into the freezer here. Now, for some reason, my frost stallion at the moment isn't going after um, this cooler but it usually does and i'll figure that out after this video um and to make it so enemies or not enemies your pals will go straight to the freezer we have this honey here sitting this is a nice trick just have your food here um and then put honey since it doesn't expire but it can go in here we'll have this right here and then um you can just have honey sitting here to block off and then they'll still transfer honey you want to make sure that they don't run out of food or they'll start going after the honey and then you lose that material there and then for other ingredients for the cake we have wheat and berries you need wheat to turn into flour so we have flour here with the mill um, just go here with the water pal and they'll start going at it and then we need this electric, this power generator for the electric kitchen, as it's the best kitchen to make these um, cakes here, which you'll need for breeding. All right, and then down here, we have everything to do with the eggs and breeding. You'll put your cakes down right in here, just throw them in, and then they'll make a bunch of eggs here. Now I've got some um, tetragons going on, some frost stallions and blazemuts to get some really good stuff. Right now I'm breeding these for um, a good movement speed frost stallion with vanguard for um, doing some fun damage stuff and i've got movement speed and damage going on here hopefully and then a good damage ways over here uh, and it doesn't matter who goes where it's just wherever you want to put it as long as it's a male and female and then after you get those eggs you want to go over to an egg incubator. Now I have my world setting to zero egg time, but if you were to um, have like regular time, then you'll want to set up a bunch of these incubators, which I'd probably do up here, um, just because I have the space. So you can put a ton of egg incubators here um, and then just kind of wait for them to go and keep doing your other stuff. You'll also want to make sure they they are either warm or cold with the timers um, just so they'll have the best cooldown. Um, it just depends on the egg. I don't remember the exact stuff, but I'm sure that there's some videos out there uh, for more in-depth breeding stuff. I'm mainly just going over the base setup. But I will go over some passive stuff. Now what you're looking for is having passives that you want on your um, egg that hatch. So I have legend runner and vanguard and then i have legend runner and swift on here to hopefully get a legend um runner swift vanguard frost stallion um so having these will be a priority they can roll with other stuff but it is more likely for them to come out with this stuff here um mainly 
and then for the pals here we have um a couple different pals we have the mozzarinas the chickpeas and the v guards here um this is for producing stuff for the cakes um you can go to each or go more based off of what resource you need the most i have a frost stallion here for cooling um the freezer for lasting those um resources lasting longer and then i have the lilene here for the plant stuff and a german tide for planting uh for the watering as well as using it for the mill for flour then i have a german tide um who is not looking too good right now um for the kindling for the kitchen and an ozerk for the um power generator and then we have some house efforts here with three transporting to move everything around that we need from the uh, planting to the ranch and then i just have the rest of my stuff going on here if you want to have more stuff going on like a stone and wood farm which i could do i could take down one or two of these um Breeding stations may be a ranch. It'll be slower, but it allows me to do more stuff. As we only have three bases, you do ha sometimes have to combine. Um, so you could take that stuff down um, and save up a bunch of space. If you were to take down one ranch, you could clear up three here and two here from a breeding station. And then you'll have five extra stuff for other, other things. Um, you could have this ore mining going on because there is ore over here. Uh, but I have it set up so I have more space over here. This is just because I have an ore farm somewhere else. The exact placement of everything does not matter. It is just how I set it up. I like having everything up here. I like having the beds kind of in the middle. Um, the cake stuff all together. I definitely have a lot of extra space just because I could. Um, this above place will depend on how many platforms you have of the foundation um, have on the bottom will depend on how many roofs you can have up here so just keep that in mind and do not break any of these platforms uh foundations here or it could destroy this whole base here i've had it happen before it was not fun rebuilding everything so please don't make the same mistake i did but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found it helpful. If there's anything I'm missing, please comment down below or join the Discord and tell me. I love having discussions in there about Power World. And I will be having more Power World content coming soon. And I sometimes stream, which my Twitch is down below as well. So you can go check that out. I'll be streaming a bunch of Power World. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Peace.